this many liquids in the morning is so unnecessary. I don't want to tempt you guys, but I've been wearing the new merch for my podcast, but that's not going to be live until August. But good morning. I just got back from the gym. I actually had such a good leg day today. It's Friday. So we're starting off the weekend vlog. I'm actually about to leave in like 15 minutes to go record with my friend Nat for her podcast. I'll link it down below because I think by the time this video goes up, that episode should already be out. Um, I'm really excited because I haven't recorded for her podcast yet. She came on my podcast once and it was so much fun recording. And that was almost a year ago. So it's going to be really fun. I did actually wake up pretty early today just because I went to bed early last night. So I'm in like a really good rhythm right now, I feel like with my sleep schedule. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I've struggled with my sleep schedule for a while. Like I stay up really late at night just because Hunter and I will watch TV or I'll scroll on TikTok. I don't know, I've just been like getting to sleep at a good time, waking up early, getting a lot done in the mornings and it feels really good. So I was just finishing up some work on my computer right now. I have a vlog that's going up either Sunday or Monday. So I'm just finalizing that, linking all the stuff. I usually try and link everything from my videos in my description box. So I'm also going through comments and just like making sure that everything's linked in other videos. But yeah, I'm excited. I actually might walk to the coffee shop that Nat and I are meeting at because it's pretty close. Like it's not close, but it's like definitely walking distance. And I really want to catch up on some podcasts today. It's been a while since I've caught up in all my podcasts because I don't really drive that much. And I've been working out with friends a lot more. So I feel like that's usually when I would listen to a podcast. But I just have been missing my podcast. Okay. We are driving instead actually. Hunter and I are actually going on a date tonight. We actually have not been on a date multiple Fridays in a row because we've had friends in town, we've had family in town, and we used to go on date nights pretty much every single Friday and Saturday and sometimes Wednesdays and I feel like we have not been on a date in forever so both of us are actually really excited to go on a date tonight and I actually want to get like really cute and treat it like a date. I feel like it's fun when you've been with someone for a really long time to still act like you're first dating because it keeps the cuteness I guess of dating somebody even though Hunter and I if you guys are new here we've been together for almost seven years which is so insane and then before that we were actually friends so we've known each other for so long and we still get like so excited to go on dates together and I get so excited at the end of the day when we're gonna like lay in bed together and hang out I feel like that's how you know <laughs> it's the right relationship for you but I honestly feel like one of the reasons why we still feel that way is because we make a really big effort to keep things special and yeah, we might go see a movie tonight too. The Barbie movie came out yesterday and it sounds really funny, so maybe we'll do that. Okay, see you guys in a minute. And I didn't finish my matcha, so I think I am gonna get a coffee. <laughs> that happened, it just blocked. I just dropped it and I drop it a lot, but I never got it fixed. This actually has been like that for like, way too long. Mm -hmm. Guys, I got a tea. I've never ordered a tea at a restaurant. Well, like I have, but I have never ordered an iced tea actually. Iced What'd tea. You You're in your iced tea, peppermint tea era. Yeah. I'm in my one cup of coffee a day era, so we got matcha. Yeah. We got well, matcha. that's why I got this, because like I had a coffee this morning, then I had a matcha. Mm -hmm. I was like, I can't mm -hmm. do more. There's no way. Oh, you already had a matcha. That's yeah. Why I was like, this is so untypical. I know. Of you. I know. Like, why are you what? Oh uh, yeah, but it actually tastes good, so. Do you know what we're talking about, or are we winging it, or like? I have uh, like three points I want to talk okay. about. <laughs> I forgot to ask you, but like yeah. maybe that's better, because then I would have like yeah. thought maybe about what to say. Yeah. yeah, and it's just going to be casual vibes, yeah. obviously. We're just, we're literally going to be catching up, because yeah. I haven't seen you. So. Yeah. <laughs> Check in with you guys after and see if we are sweating, because we have to no, turn the car off. <laughs> okay, it's been a few since I last saw you. It was so much fun to catch up with that, record. The podcast went so well, so I'll link that down below. I think it comes out on Tuesday, so it should have already been posted yesterday by the time you guys are watching this. But I'm about to shower. I really want to do a full hair wash day and do like a hair mask. I feel like my hair hasn't been like fully washed, straight and blow dried, curled in a while and I want to look cute. Today and tonight, I think my mom and I are going to go to Lido for a little bit, shop around the shops a little bit, and then we're going to go on our date tonight. So I'm going to start getting ready. Right now and I'll see you guys after. I've shared this before, but when I really want my hair to look good, I go in with the Redken All Soft Shampoo and Conditioner. This stuff is kind of pricey from Ulta, but it's really worth it. And I feel like it actually is what helped my hair grow 
when I first started using it. Really quickly, I wanna talk about the sponsor of today's video, which is Squarespace. You guys know how much I love Squarespace because they're an all-in-one platform that helps you build, design, and create a website. My favorite thing about Squarespace is how beginner-friendly they are. So if you guys are just starting out with your blog, a website, if you're selling a product, or you just started a company, Squarespace is such a great platform to use because you can choose the template on there, you can customize the designs, you can add a comment section, you can add a newsletter, you can even go in and see the analytics for how many people are clicking on your website, which is so important, especially if you're just getting started. I feel like it's just never too late to build your brand identity and Squarespace can help you guys do that. So if you guys are interested, you guys can actually use my code Caitlin Nolan. It'll get you a 30 day free trial. And then if you are ready to purchase a domain or website, it'll get you 10% off. I'm going to link it down below. I'll put the code with my spelling of my first and last name for reference. And thank you so much Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back into it. Okay. It's a little bit later. I can't really tell, but I'm wearing a little midi skirt. I also have these really cute flip flops on I just got. I don't know what the brand is. Just did my hair, my makeup. We're going to go to this restaurant called Gianna's because it's in Dana Point, which is where we used to live. And we haven't been to this restaurant in forever and it literally has the best Italian food. I cannot wait. We're also going to go to our favorite beach that's over there. Also, I've not been to that beach since we moved over into this new area, so special date night. We also might go see Barbie at nine o'clock. It's 5.30. We're gonna try and catch the sunset, but this is the outfit. This dress is from Shop Luna B, and this bag is from Forward, so cute little beach night outfit. Good morning, you guys. I feel like I didn't vlog anything last night because we went to that restaurant. It was really good. I got a clip of it. And then we just came home and watched All American, sat on the couch, had some ice cream, and honestly fell asleep really early for a Saturday or a Friday night. But now I feel very rejuvenated today. We're gonna go get some coffee, walk at the beach, and I just put on this new outfit that I got from Gilly Hicks. I actually have a haul with them coming soon. It just won't be for another couple videos. I got a bunch of new workout clothes because you guys know I tried them in, I think like three vlogs ago. And now this is literally one of my favorite workout outfit companies more for like going and getting coffee like I wouldn't probably like lift in this outfit just because it's just something I wouldn't typically lift in but for like going and getting coffee and still feeling cute I just really like Gilly Hicks so I'll link this skirt and this top down below and then the star of the show is this 112's hat it's their new woven hat woven woven I don't know how to say that but I've been looking for a hat like this for so long like I've seen it a lot on Pinterest and I wasn't able to find like the perfect style, like one that you can actually adjust the rim and just looks exactly the way that I want it. And it's just crazy that one of my friends, you guys know Lily, she came and visited a couple vlogs ago. She created this hat and like designed it. And 112s is her and Andy's company and they're actually for sale right now. So I'll link this down below as well. Try and get this video up fast so that you guys can get them. I know they're gonna sell out really fast, but I feel like it pulled the outfit together. Let's go get some coffee. I think we're gonna go to Black Dot Coffee because it's Hunter's favorite. Mm -hmm. And I'm excited. <laughs> Coco's gonna stay here and nap. <laughs> we decided to make a pit stop on the way to the beach. We realized we're both really hungry. I'm excited. I'm excited to go to the beach. I feel like the weather's nice. Yeah, it is really nice today. I don't really mind when it's overcast, honestly, as long as it only lasts a couple days. Because it reminds me when we lived in Arizona, and I'd be really happy when it was overcast. Because it never, never happened. <laughs> okay, well, I'll show you guys what we end up getting. We'll probably just get coffees there. We'll get food. Yeah, no, I mean, like, definitely food, but we'll just get coffee at the breakfast place. Not go get coffee uh, and then yeah. go to the beach. We'll just walk down to the beach. What's really cute, too, about where we live, I feel like there's just so many different options. Because all the streets pretty much are lined by... A bunch of local shops. Oh gosh, Hunter had to get out to crawl through. So, whichever one we pass first. <laughs> this is the winner today, and it's a new place we've never tried. Who are we? <laughs> Look what we're walking up to a little farmer's market. So, hopefully, we can find some of the cashew milk I've seen. How is it? It's good. <laughs> That's all they get? They're good? <laughs> Crunchy and good. Okay. <laughs> no review. It tastes like caramel. Yeah, it does. Our lunch 
lunch for the day. I just dropped the same salad I got in my last video. It's a Chinese chicken salad. It literally has me in a chokehold. It's so good. And then I also already ate half of this, but got this little carrot cake for after. And then Hunter loves their pizza. I have to show you guys this. Like this is literally one of my favorite pizzas in California. So we're gonna have pizza, split the salad. We are back, it's a few hours later. Lunch was so good, that was the last time I vlogged. We got the Goot Kitchen place again. I've honestly gotten that like seven times since we first tried it. We honestly had such a good Saturday. Like we did pretty much nothing. We just picked up around the house. We went on the computer, tried to figure out one of our vacations for the summer. Yeah, it was just a really good Saturday, chill Saturday. Um, now I'm putting on some skincare as my makeup tonight because I'm trying to do one night of the weekend where I don't wear any makeup and I just put on like a full face of skincare and let my skin breathe, especially because we're in California. I feel like when I go to the beach anyway, like my makeup usually gets messed up. I've been loving this Tower 28 facial spray. It actually has hyaluronic acid in it and water. It literally feels like your skin is taking a sip of water. And then you guys know I love my turmeric face oil. Here is the packaging. Highly recommend trying to let your skin breathe a little bit if you're someone like me who does always do a full face of makeup. Like I feel like I wear full face of makeup at least four or five days out of the week. And it's just nice to let your skin breathe. I mean, I feel like I've actually been wearing less makeup lately just because I have been working out a lot and I feel like what's the point if you get home from your workout by like three. Another thing, I filled up an entire water bottle of electrolytes because we took Coco to the park. So between the walk that we did this morning to the beach and then also our walk with Coco, like I need to replenish my electrolytes because it was so hot today we were sweating. Mm -mm -mm. Put this cute outfit on for dinner. These pants that I'm wearing are actually from Amazon and then this long sleeve top is from Revolve. It's really cute. I've had it for like almost two years, so hopefully they still have it. If they still have it, I'll link it. And then underneath, I'm just wearing my Skims bra that I wear like, like literally every day. We're making a coffee together. You guys know I'm a grandma. I want to try this Califia Farms oat milk cinnamon roll creamer. You're like me. We have the same taste buds. I'm thinking that this is going to be like a subtle sweet, which I like. We're just going to do a baby glass because like we don't need that much caffeine. Our Turn Pretty came out on Friday. We haven't watched it yet, so I need to be able to have the energy to stay up tonight when we get home from dinner. So let's try a light splash. We can really still taste the coffee. I'm so sore from my workout on Friday. Wait, I don't like this creamer, babe. You don't like it? Would you order it again? No. It's actually not sweet in the slightest. Like it has no sugar. That's so sad because the <laughs> cookie butter one is like to die for. Yeah. Sad but we'll live. Next thing that I wanted to say. We just got these organizers from Home Goods the other day. It's a 12 piece organizer set and I really want to organize our vitamin drawer. I feel like I keep seeing TikToks of like ASMR organized with me and it makes me just want my entire house to be organized. Like, I'm sure you guys know Emily Keisler. Her car, her house, like everything just seems so organized and I just really wanna organize everything. So I got these to do a lot of like the vitamins, protein powders, the seed that I take every day, the water drops that I have, and then also the element that I have. So I thought I could organize these and put them in a drawer next to the fridge because I feel like I'm usually like right here. I thought I'd do that tomorrow for a little Sunday reset. We have to do groceries tomorrow. And just have like a really proper Sunday reset tomorrow. If you take a vitamin C packet with me, I'll make you a coffee. They're citrus vanilla. It tastes like Sunny D. Oh, they are good. No. Mm -hmm. Please. You know I don't like that texture. It'll make you feel better. Your stomach. Uh, I don't know if I can do it. You got it, baby. Cheers to hell. <sighs> Ebby? How do you feel better? I don't think I've talked about these actually on YouTube yet. I talked about them on Instagram, but the vitamin C from Symbiotica, they sell them in the liposomal packets and it has a hundred, or not a hundred, a thousand milligrams of vitamin C in it. It says on the back, you can take this daily and you just squeeze it into your mouth or you can stir it into your favorite beverage. I think it's just best to squeeze it in your mouth because then it's like over with. It really doesn't taste bad. The texture is weird to me. Um, 
obviously with any type of vitamin do your own research see why it would work for you love these highly recommend this symbiotica brand it's one of the only vitamin brands that i really fully trust i'd say there's about four vitamin brands that i fully trust i can talk about this in like a monthly favorites video maybe if you guys are interested i try to personally wait like a month to two months when i've taken something to share it with you guys i used to buy these at mother's market like you can buy them in one single serving like this but i recently just got them off of amazon in this container and this is the first time i've actually purchased the full container i was buying so many of those little packets that i was like okay it actually it's so much more affordable to just buy this entire packet so that's what i did now i will see you guys at dinner <laughs> i'm already happy that I just made. It's Sunday morning right now. I'm just sitting in the living room watching some YouTube and I'm so excited to have a Sunday reset today. I feel like it's been forever and there's just a lot of little like organizing things that I wanna do around the house and maybe go to the beach at some point today, jump in the water. I keep calling it my Sunday reset to like actually get in the water. You guys know that I love cold plunging. It's been like a really fun addition to my life because like, the ocean is just so good for you and it's really good for your sleep and stuff. So we kind of got in the habit of doing it every single Sunday, Hunter and I will go to the beach and actually fully jump in. So we'll do some fun stuff today, but I just wanted to wake up and honestly just relax. Wait for everybody to wake up, watching my fave YouTubers and yeah, it's just gonna be a really chill day. Right, Cookie? Right? Good girl. Guys, I just spilled my entire coffee on our couch cushions. Ugh. Gonna have to wash these immediately just in case. Oh, and I forgot laundry in here. How nice. bags I have a Trader Joe's bag and then this is the bag that comes with your aloe order if you order anything from aloe my grocery store outfit for Sunday is this little sweater I've been wearing from Revolve it's by weekend stories I really like it it's actually really cozy and then Amazon bag you guys know these are lace back sunglasses and then these are my favorite Amazon pants they're actually men's pants but I really like them because they're super comfy. I actually slept in these last night. Little overview of everything that we picked up from the store. For protein this week, I got some salmon and some turkey. We have some chicken in the fridge already. We got peaches, it's peach season. Red onion, because we're gonna do chicken salad. Some strawberries, grapes. My favorite creamer, Hunter's favorite creamer too. The Khalifa cold brew. This is my favorite cold brew that you can get in a jar. Really good. Cucumber, banana, blueberries, this. Simple Mills Almond Flour Banana Mix. I want to do strawberry banana muffins. I think that'd be really yummy for the morning with like coffee and some Greek yogurt. Some brown rice, sourdough, some dill for the chicken salad, cream cheese, some Greek yogurt for chicken salad, capers for bagels in the morning, some mint tea, oh, and then some crackers. So just a quick grocery haul. I'm gonna put everything away and then we're gonna get started doing some house stuff. I showed these in my last video. I got these organizers from Home Goods, and it came with 12 of them. I probably won't use all of them to organize like our little medicine cabinet, but I think it'll be nice. I'll show you guys the before, and then I'll show you guys the after, because I feel like it's gonna have a big, big difference. Unfortunately, this is the before. This is how we've been living. <laughs> and hopefully the after will look a million times better. I have this drawer that's next to the air fryer, the fruit bowl, the fridge. This is where I kind of always stand to make breakfast and stuff. 
<gasps> There's literally a bug in there. I need to clean that. I'm gonna put all of these containers in here. You a mood, body giving sin refuse. I'm just saying I'm a mule. But you ain't even flexing. And you cool, tat it up, cover rooms, different vibe, you know, and for But you ain't even flexing. Two million times better. Wow. I'm gonna make myself a ginger tea, put it over ice, and then get cleaning for the rest of the house. For my iced tea lately, I've just been brewing regular tea bag over hot water for my kettle, and then I let it seep for like five, 10 minutes and then I pour it into this. So I can pour it over ice. Oh no, I just spilled. Ah. And it's so good. Mm. It's very refreshing. Wouldn't it be a Sunday night without an hour? I'm happy and tired. Oh.